Just wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to our newest patron, Sinister Grackle. We'll try again tomorrow. Mia and I were still in Louisiana. Now that we had found the Honey Island Swamp Monster, we were heading to New Orleans to try and visit our friend Leon. Not only was Leon able to transform into a Lucaroo, he was one of the many acquaintances we had lost contact with when Mia and I had our falling out. Prior to that, though, we'd been in touch every month to make sure that he was safely locked up while in his monstrous form, and it seemed like everything had been going well. Sometimes he would call us before he transformed, sometimes after, but he always said he'd been able to handle it. We kept an eye on the news, and there hadn't been any monster sightings in the area, so it seemed like he was telling the truth. So, fast forward a little bit, I tried to get in touch with him again when I started inviting people to the Sanctuary Network, but I never heard back from him. And then, admittedly, I had forgotten all about it until we came back to Louisiana. Since we were only half an hour away, we decided to just pay him a visit in person. Obviously, though, we didn't want to just drop in unannounced, so we tried giving him a call first, but no response. Fortunately for us, we were in New Orleans, and... There were plenty of ways to pass the time. What's this? New Orleans ghost tours? Yeah, sounds like it could be interesting. You're not going to try, like, talking to the ghosts or anything, right? (laughs) Don't be silly. Why would I do that? Um, because you're excited about literally every weird thing we investigate? I'm not actually looking for them. It just sounded like fun. Wait, do you not believe in ghosts? No. Why? Do you? Uh, not really. Then why are you giving me such a weird look? Cryptids, aliens, psychic powers. You are always less skeptical than me. I just figured you believe in ghosts, too. (laughs) No, ghosts aren't real. That'd be ridiculous. Ah, so ghosts are where you draw the line for ridiculous. Yep. Whatever you say. We tried calling and texting Leon each day without response. After a week, we were starting to get nervous. Or impatient. Maybe a little bit of both. So, finally we decided to just go to his house. He could have moved. Maybe, but fully furnished basement cages probably aren't easy to come by. Right. He probably just forgot to pay his phone bill. Or maybe he got a new phone. Or, I don't know, there could be a hundred reasons we haven't heard back from him. Hey, he's got a man cage. (laughs) Get it? Like, man cave? Oh, I got it. Lucas, Mia, hey, it's been a while. Hi, it sure has. What a relief. It's good to see you. We've been trying to get in touch. Oh, yeah, sorry. I know this is spur of the moment, but are you doing anything right now? We were hoping to, you know, catch up. Well, I could, but uh, my place is a mess right now. Hey, you guys eating yet? Let's get lunch. I could eat. Sure. Let me get my things. I'll be right out. 
Once Leon was ready, the three of us drove to a nearby restaurant for lunch. Oh, this is delicious. Good choice. Uh, you know how much I need to eat. I gotta know the best places around. So... Did you two just drop in out of the blue to shoot the shit? Or do you want to ask about, you know... Well, yeah, actually, I know we stopped checking in, but we wanted to make sure you're good. Yeah, I've got it down pat now. I start feeling anything. I called Jake. Your same friend from before, right? Yeah, he comes over, makes sure I'm all locked up, and then we just hang out until I change. I got an Xbox down there. It's not bad. Once I'm myself again, he lets me out. It's a solid system. Mostly stay home anyway, just to be safe. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, sorry again we sort of dropped off the face of the earth for a while there. It's alright. Everything okay? (sighs) Could have been better. We took an unexpected break from the whole cryptid business, but we're back at it now. That's good. Yeah, most of the time. After we finished eating, we said goodbye to Leon and returned to our room. (gasps) Who wants leftovers? Did he seem a little... off to you? Off? Off how? I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. Well, he did say his house was a mess. Sounds like he doesn't get out much. And I bet it's hard dating when you turn into a monster. Maybe... Maybe he's depressed. Could be. He said he was okay, though. Yeah, I hope so. I just worry about him. We had yet to pick our next destination or decide on a cryptid to look for, so we were still in New Orleans when... Two days later, there was an animal attack in the news. The victim was covered in scratches, but mostly okay. They said whatever attacked them was big and aggressive, but they weren't able to give any other details. Sure sounded like a cryptid. In fact, it sounded a lot like the loop guru. So we decided to pay Leon another visit. And since his cell phone still wasn't working, we just went to his house again. Wasn't expecting to see you guys again so soon. What's up? Have you, you know, changed lately? What? No, it's been almost three weeks. I'm not due for at least a few more days. Why, is something wrong? There was an animal attack last night. And it doesn't sound like a normal animal. We just thought maybe you... Really? Yeah? Yeah, I'm a little offended, but I get it. Sorry. No, it's fine. I would have suspected me too. You're sure it wasn't you, though? You didn't, like, black out or anything? Positive. I may not remember everything that happens when I change, but believe me, I can tell afterwards. Uh, Have you looked into any other possibilities yet? Could be the grunge. I'm sorry, the what? The Grunch. It's this old legend my parents told me about growing up. If there's any other monsters around here, that would be my bet. Oh, we'll look into it. Thanks. No problem. Good luck. This wasn't our first time looking for an aggressive creature, and, as always, our top priority was to find it as soon as possible, before there were any more attacks. So, I did some very brief research while Mia and I got ready to check out the area. So this... grunch. Is that what it's called? Correct. Ugh. It sounds disgusting. Like, it would be slang for some real dirty shit. Oh, yeah, you do not want to Google that. Ugh, I know I always complain about cryptids that are just named after towns or lakes, but I don't know if grunch is any better. (laughs) Actually, it's funny you should say that, 
because the Grunch is named after a road. Oh, God damn it. Of course it is. Uh, I take it you were able to find something? Not a whole lot, but yeah. Uh, so first off, I couldn't find any actual reported sightings. It's apparently more of an oral tradition slash ghost story, and it dates back to at least the 1800s. That makes sense. Leon did say his parents told him about it. Yeah. Since it is more word of mouth, there's obviously not a lot of recorded history to go off of. Uh, But what I do have are some descriptions and two completely different but equally insane origin stories. It's never a good sign if you think they're insane. Oh, let's get this over with. The Grunch, or possibly Grunches, they are named after Grunch Road, which according to legend was a small dead-end dirt road on the edge of the woods where they made their home. Uh, if there was ever a real Grunch Road, its exact location has been lost to time, and I've seen multiple different claims about where in the city it really was. Grunch Road. I hate it. It's really not a great word. Alright, tell me these origin stories. Okay, well, the first concerns Marie Laveau, the so-called voodoo queen. Oh, yeah. They mentioned her on the ghost tour. Yep. So, at one point, she delivered a child called the Devil Baby, which is an entirely separate crazy legend we don't have time to get into. Uh, But when it was born, she didn't want it to reproduce and spread its evil across the earth. So, naturally, she castrated it. What the f***? And when the testicles fell to the ground, they became the first male and female grunch. Jesus. Insane is right. That's like something out of Greek mythology. If it makes you feel any better, the other one is marginally less insane. Ugh, please continue. (sighs) According to this story... Grunch Road was home to a community of albinos and little people. After being ostracized from society for looking different, they decided to get away from civilization and live by themselves on this secluded back road. After generations of isolation and inbreeding... Oh no... Yeah... Supposedly, they grew feral and inhuman, and their descendants became the Grunches. That's almost as bad as alligator-chimp hybrids. Actually, it's more dehumanizing, so maybe it's worse. No, yeah, it's definitely worse. No arguments here. Now, given that it's mostly oral folklore, descriptions vary a lot. Some sources just straight up called it a chupacabra, some descriptions sound a lot like a goat man, and one version even said it has wings and a tail like the Jersey Devil. So people are just making shit up. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I don't know how else you'd get such varying descriptions. Uh, It has glowing eyes, because of course, what good monster doesn't? It howls like a wolf or a monkey, eats pets maybe drinks blood, and they're very intelligent. Uh, One common story I saw is that they will place an injured goat on the side of the road to lure in victims. Uh, Once people pulled over and got out to check on the goat, they would attack. I hope that's just a legend. For a lot of reasons. Yeah, me too. But that's really all I could find on short notice. Okay. Let's get out there, then. The attack had occurred in a residential area, so we began our search there. And the night was pretty uneventful. We couldn't find any physical traces of it, and Mia wasn't picking anything up either. So when the sun began to rise, we finally called it a night and returned to the motel. Damn it! Wake up! What is it? There was another attack last night. How? We didn't see anything. Yeah, because this one was across town. Oh, right. And the victim drew a sketch this time. Oh, shit. Mia rotated her laptop, 
showing me a simple drawing of a creature. It was a bipedal monster covered in fur, shaped like a man with claws and fangs. It was unmistakably a rendering of the Loop Guru. Within minutes, we were in the car on our way to Leon's. And this time, we were armed. Leon! We just want to talk. Let us in. We should probably just go in, right? Can you pick this? Yeah, give me a minute. Make sure the coast is clear. Got it. Leon! It's your friends! Hello! I'm not gonna play the rest of that recording. I'll be totally honest, it was mostly the two of us vomiting, and then me having a panic attack. There's no easy way to say it. Leon was dead. There was blood everywhere, and the stench was unbearable. We had walked into a nightmare. Obviously, we got out of there and called the cops, who wanted us to stay in town until they cleared us as suspects. Wait, really? You're sure? I... It's nothing. Thank you. You too. Bye. What the fuck? What's wrong? Do they think we did it? No. They said we were cleared of any involvement. Isn't that a good thing? They said it couldn't have been us because he'd been dead for at least a week. What? Maybe longer. But that would mean... They think he was killed before we got into town? Yeah. What the f***ing f*** is going on? I... I've got nothing. There's no way he could have been dead that long. We... we talked to him. Both of us. They must have made some kind of mistake with the autopsy. Maybe ghosts are real after all. Who is it? I don't know. Put it on speaker. Hello? Mom, this has been fun. You're not Leon. No, but thanks for mentioning him. I'm really enjoying this body. What the f*** are you talking about? Who are you? I'm gonna hit the road. Don't worry. We'll talk again soon. I promise. Okay, what the f*** is going on? I feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind. Evil twin? This isn't the time for jokes. I'm not joking. What the hell else could be going on? He looked exactly like Leon. I'm at a complete and total loss. This is bad. Either we're both going crazy or... Or what? Uh, I've got no idea. We were both shaken up. Badly. As soon as the cops said we weren't suspects anymore, we got the hell out of town. We didn't know where we were going, but we just had to get as far away as we could. I did keep an eye on the news for the next few days, and there hadn't been any other reported attacks, so whoever was pretending to be Leon must have been telling the truth about leaving. Not that that was any consolation. So, we were only left with questions. It was frustrating, to say the least, but we tried to forget about it. Thankfully, we found a big distraction a few days later. (laughs) 
Lucas! What time is it? It's still dark out. We need to talk. Right now, in case I forget it again. What are you talking about? The coven. The witches? What about them? I think I know what killed them. Wait, really? Okay, so you know how the coven was trying to bring back this super powerful witch they called the Sleeper? They learned about it from dreams. We thought maybe it had something to do with the Lucid Man? Yeah, of course. Well, after... after Annie died, I tried to contact him. I wanted answers, but it was harder than I anticipated. I thought you figured out how to control your dreams. I did, but that was just to block him out. Reaching out on my own, looking for him, it was completely different. It's hard to explain, but it was like using a totally different muscle. Why are you just telling me this now? Because I was never able to find him. Believe me, I tried every night for months with no luck. And it was tiring. I was sleeping, but not getting any rest. Eventually, I started waking up exhausted every morning. I couldn't keep doing it, so I sort of just gave up. But then, when we found out the witches were dead, I started trying again. Finally, last night, I found him. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Apparently, I actually found him a week ago, right after we left New Orleans, but I couldn't remember it when I woke up. He said that I've been able to find him every night since then, and we've had the exact same conversation every time. This is the first time I've been able to remember it now that I'm awake. Ugh, that gives me the creeps. It's like a recurring nightmare. What did he say? He apologized. Why would the lucid man apologize? He said he tries to watch over people like us. You know, with powers. That's why he started showing up in my dreams in the first place. And you believe him? I don't know. Not entirely. He still creeps me out, but I do get the feeling that it's harder to lie in that dreamscape, for whatever reason. But yeah, when he senses someone with powers, he reaches out to them. That included the witches, too. He wanted to help them. Help them do what? I don't know, just generally sort of live better lives? So, he did tell them about the Sleeper? Yeah. We all thought the Coven was trying to bring the Sleeper back to life, but apparently they were never completely dead. They were more... trapped. Their consciousness was out there... somewhere? and he found it. They couldn't really communicate, but he could sense that they were there. He thought they would serve as a teacher, a guide. The witches would grow stronger, and the sleeper would be rescued. He saw it as a win-win. So it was all his fault. He said he didn't know what it would take to bring the sleeper back, how far the coven was willing to go, he apologized for that, too. Okay, but what does this have to do with them dying? We didn't stop them. What? Their ritual? It worked. Don't be ridiculous. We shot that, that talisman thing of theirs. <clears throat> that was just a focus. The ritual was completed as soon as they drew blood. So, what are you saying? They... they resurrected the sleeper? Yeah. The lucid man could tell. Once they were brought back, he was able to reach them through dreams, like everyone else. And? He said he was wrong about everything. The sleeper wasn't a teacher. They were evil. Insane. They toyed with the witches, and then murdered them. Are... are you... are you okay? Annie... died... for nothing. 
I thought... I thought at least we managed to stop them. Fuck. Lucas, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm glad the witches are dead, but if this sleeper can just kill and mutilate a dozen people, that sounds really bad. What do we do now? Same thing we always do, I guess. Keep looking for cryptids. It's not like we have anything else to go on. But we'll keep an eye out. We'll find them. Cryptid Cases has been a production of Little Giant Monsters. Find out more about us at littlegiantmonsters.com and by searching for Little Giant Monsters on social media. Every Monday after a new episode, we share a cryptid sketch, so be sure to look out for that. If you're enjoying the Cryptid Cases and want to help support us, find us on Patreon. Rewards include behind-the-scenes content, early access to episodes, and access to our Discord. A huge thanks to all our current patrons. Links to our Patreon, our merch, and other shows we're creating are all available on our website or in the description of this episode. Another way to support our work is through ratings and comments on Apple Podcasts and other podcast apps. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again soon. 